So you're new to Fallout 76 and you keep running out of ammo. But what if I told you that there is a unique set of power armor in this game that will basically help you get more ammo? So the power armor that I'm on about is called Excavator Power Armor. And basically the unique effect on this armor is that when you go mining, you can get quadruple the amount of mining materials from the one node. So if you're looking for lead to make bullets or copper, or anything along those lines if you have the armor equipped you will get more mining materials so to get the actual power armor itself it's very easy you just need to do one quest and you have the power armor the issue comes in with the level requirement you do need to be level 25 to enter the power armor and you do need to enter the power armor to finish the quest so that is the first obstacle you have to overcome you need to be a minimum level of 25 the second obstacle is going to be the materials needed to make the armor. So you do need a material called black titanium. Now you can get black titanium from going to workshops. The other way to get black titanium is killing deck claws. Now if you're very good at killing deck claws, it's probably going to be the easiest way to get it. But if you are lower level, I would recommend it just going to a workshop, putting down an extractor and just wait for the ores to come out. And if you do go the workshop route, you will need acid to smelt down the ores. So it's basically pick your poison. You can either go deck claws where you can get the black titanium straight away, or you can go workshops where you have to wait for the ores to come out of the ground, and then you need acid to smelt them. So if you do pick the deck claw route, I'm going to show you two deck claw locations. So the first deck claw location is going to be deck claw island. This is just going to be west of Vault 76 all the way over on this little island right here. Once you spawn in, you're just going to need to make your way over to the actual island itself and you will run towards the middle of the island. You will see the deck claw nest right there. Once you run over to the nest, a deck claw will pop out. Now, my deck claw is already roaming around, but all you need to do is go over to the deck claw, kill it. And once it is dead and you search the body, you will find the black titanium scrap. And the next location is going to be Hopewell Cave. This is just going to be east of Vault 76. Now it is going to be a good run, but if a player's camp is nearby, just spawn at the camp and run to the cave. So once you spawn into this location, all you need to do is run straight towards the cave. Once you go into the cave, a deck claw will come down from the ceiling and all you need to do is kill it. Now this deck claw is harder than the last deck claw that I showed just because it's an alpha. But once you kill this deck claw, you will then get more titanium scrap. And if you didn't get enough titanium scrap from killing these deck claws, don't forget that you can also just back out to the main menu and go back into a new server. If a player hasn't already killed these deck claws, you can just go over and kill these deck claws again and get more of that titanium scrap. So now I'm going to show you a workshop that's very close to Vault 76 that will help you get black titanium. So this workshop is called the Gorge's Junkyard. The Junkyard is just east of Vault 76, so it's not too far at all. But once you get into the location, you will need to kill a bunch of enemies before you can actually activate this workshop to be your own. But once you kill all those enemies, you will then learn the extractor plan where you will be able to go over to this deposit on my screen right now and just place the extractor. Now the extractor needs 10 power, so you need two medium generators. If you're a new player, you'll only have the medium generators unlocked, but you'll need two medium generators. All you need to do is place them down hook them up to the extractor and that extractor will now help you get black titanium ores. So now that you have the black titanium ores, you need to get some acid. So one of the best workshops to go to is Hemlock Holes. This is just north of Vol 76, but once you spawn into this location, all you need to do is go into your build mode and you need to place down the acid extractors. There is several different areas that you can place these down in, but all you have to do is go around and place them down. And once you place them down, you just need to power them up and you will now be able to get a bunch of acid. So now that we have all the materials that we need to make the excavator power armor, we need to come down to Garahan Mining Headquarters. 
this is just south of Vault 76 down in the ash heap. But once you spawn into this location, you're going to see a big sign. Then you're going to follow my character up to the car park. Once you go up into the car park, you're going to see a sign right here. You just need to go over to the sign and examine it. And once you examine the sign, the game will give you the quest Minor Miracles. So now that we have the quest Minor Miracles, you're just going to follow my character on screen right now over to this big building. Just be careful because this place is full of mines. So just run by them or shoot them or whatever you need to do to get by them. And we just need to go into the actual building. So once you spawn into this location, you're just going to follow my character on screen right now. We're just going to be going over to this terminal. It's the reception terminal. And once you interact with this terminal, you're going to be going for the top memo excavator queries. And once you click on excavator queries, you will then get the next quest step. So now we just need to go down to the other terminal. So just follow my character on screen right now all the way through this building and to our left we're then going to go and take a right down at these stairs just continue down these stairs kill any enemies on the way and when you get into this room right here you're just going to be going to the terminal in the middle once you get to the terminal all you need to do is go to the excavator module blueprints and now you know how to make the excavator armor so now we need to go and build the excavator power armor. So to build the excavator power armor, you do need a power armor chassis. So if you don't have one, once you leave the terminal, all you need to do is turn around and you will see a power armor chassis at the frame right over there. Go over, pick it up, then come back through this room and place it right in front of a power armor station. Once you have a place at the power armor station, just go over to the power armor station, go to craft, and then you need to craft the excavator power armor. Once again, you will need the likes of black titanium plus a few other little bits, but the black titanium is the hardest one out of it all. But all you have to do is go through it all and build the level 25 excavator power armor and you will basically have this quest done because once you have it done all you need to do is enter back into the excavator power armor and once your character jumps into the power armor you just need to go towards your left and you just need to register it so just go over to this button right here press the button and you now have the quest complete and there you have it you have one of the best armors in fallout 76 not only is it good for getting resources but it will keep you alive because it is power armor it's not as good as other power armors but it is still very decent but guys if you enjoyed what you saw and you want to help out the channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you for the next video thank you and goodbye